guys, I'm Jeff the Homestead Dad and welcome to the Homestead. I am here with my daughter Grace. We are making strawberry freezer jam today. So one of our latest videos for the jamboree uh, was canned jam, which we made and loved and have been eating most of. Today we're making uh, freezer jam, which is much faster. And I'm really excited to do this. It's the first time I've ever done this before, um, but it's supposed to be super easy. So Grace has already taken two two pound containers of strawberries and cut the tops off uh, we're gonna go ahead and put them in the big measuring cup there and smash them up it calls for four cups of crushed berries so and it says it's about four one pound containers or as we did two two pound containers so we're gonna go ahead and put those in there um, so it's the four cups of crushed strawberries it's one and a half cups of sugar and then it's um, one packet of um, pectin or five tablespoons. So we'll be using the five tablespoons and we've got, um, so we've just got a bunch of like bulk sugar here. And then we've got the Hoosier Hill Farm pectin that we'll be using. So let's get after it. Okay, let's start to smash them up. Yeah, just small on there. All of the recipes that I've seen have just said you look at use a potato masher, which is what Grace is doing. Um, give your arm workout, and then uh, we're gonna add the. So it says to once she's done with this, we'll let those stand for a little bit. We'll get another bowl. And we'll mix in the sugar and the pectin. We'll thoroughly mix that, and then once this is stood for about 10 minutes, we will mix the sugar pectin mixture in there. Um, and then we'll put them in, I think we're gonna put them in pint jars. I think it said it'll make about five pints. So we'll put it in pint jars, you put the lids on, and you let the, the jam set up for about a half an hour, and then you can either eat it immediately, you can refrigerate it for a few weeks, or you can freeze it for up to a year. So we'll probably keep one in the refrigerator and then freeze the rest of them because we still have that canned jam as well. So um, you can see that's already starting to get pretty mushy and liquidy. And probably would be even easier if we had a totally square, like 90 degree bottom, like a like a pot like this. Because then when you push down on it, it wouldn't jump up the other side, which is what Grace seems to be running up against right now. But we'll get it done. So this little one wanted to know what was going on, right? I said, Daddy, what are you doing? What does it look like we're making? What does that look like? I don't know. Strawberry jam, maybe? So you guys can see I use the masher and uh, there's no big chunks. I mean, you want it to be chunky because it's jam, right? You know, it's not preserves or puree. Um, don't push on the peaches, sweet girl. Um, so we're gonna switch over to a spoon. Um, Grace is measuring out the one and a half cups of sugar and the pectin, and then we'll go ahead and mix this in here. Mix this in here. So we have a little over six cups in here. Six cups is 50% more than four cups. So we're going to need 50% more sugar and pectin. And I'm gonna put my daughter on the spot. Do you know how much 50% more is? So half again is more. So if we put a, a cup and a half in, what's half of a cup and a half? Three quarters. So we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of sugar um, more. So that will be two and a quarter cups of sugar. And then I saw one recipe that said five um, tablespoons of pectin, one that says um, four. So if it's five, 
And if it was four, it'd be easy. We just add two more. So we're going to add two in a little bit of pectin. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get that mixed up. We're going to mix up that stuff and then we'll add it in here. Okay, no. You. So Grace is stirring that up. We need to stir it thoroughly. Make sure the pectin is incorporated into the sugar. And then we're going to pour it into here and start mixing everything together. And it says to mix it um, constantly for three minutes. So we'll probably take turns mixing. Okay, come here, Addy. I'm gonna start. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be careful not to um to get it out of the bowl. Okay, go ahead and stir. It is mixing and then turning it down. Do you want to mix a little too? Yeah. Once that blade has a turn on, you'll get a turn, okay? Here you go. Stand here. Good job. Alright, grab the spoon. Grace is going to help me. What do you got in your cheek? You got a mater? Uh, yeah, chew it up. Good job, James. Okay, good job. Can Gracie do it now? I'm going to start the clock now. I'm not sure the little ones stirred as vigorously as they should for three minutes. No, we haven't done. Haha. <laughs> what? Jars up. How many jars do we need? Okay, so we stirred it for a little over three minutes, closer to four minutes, and it tastes wonderful. It doesn't okay. taste grainy at all. It's still uh, with this recipe. You know, like I said, some of the other recipes called for way more sugar. This is still super, super sweet. So what I'm gonna try to do, and we'll see if I can pour this out of here, if I'm super careful, and into the jars. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the, um, the colander, because that's not working at all. The, uh, funnel. It was worth a shot, but I failed. We'll just uh, lick that up, it'll be wonderful. Okay, so this will be much better. Whoa, too much. Oh, it's actually not even that that too much. Yeah. I know I'm making a mess, aren't I? It's all right. We'll clean it up and we'll eat it. Oh yeah. Well, well maybe we're still gonna make right about five. Not even. Maybe it was five half points? I don't know. Either way. Okay, so that's done. I'll put this here. You can use a spatula and lick that out. Doesn't it taste good? Yeah. Right? What do you think? It's really good. Okay, so I kind of made a mess. We'll clean up the mess. We're going to put... Um, we're gonna put tops on these and then we'll put one in there. Well, you leave them out for a half an hour to set. And uh, after they've set up, then you put them in the fridge or the freezer. So we'll put four of these in the freezer. We'll put or probably three of these in the freezer and two, one and a half in the, uh, in the refrigerator and we'll be good. Boy, I made a mess, didn't I? <laughs> Did you get rings? Uh, no. Okay, no. grab rings for them. This is the hardest part, waiting for them to set up. The clock is ticking, half an hour. Guys, it's been a half an hour. Um, we're gonna go ahead and see if this is set up. And we're gonna do that by opening up this jar, the little one. Oh, it has not. No, it certainly has not set up. Uh, it's still kind of jiggly. So we're gonna give it a little bit longer, see what happens. Um, yeah, this looks like it's 
I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. Okay, it's been an hour. It's not setting up. So we're gonna use this as like a strawberry spread for toppings for ice cream and stuff like that. And we're gonna make a take two at it. We have some more strawberries. Grace is processing those now. She's starting to mash them because there's not room in there for all of them uh, not crushed. Then she's gonna do the rest of these. And we're gonna try again. I'm thinking maybe we just didn't put enough pectin in. Uh, so we're gonna try again. We'll see how it goes. Let's let's do this thing. Adding the sugar and the pectin in. And then we're gonna start the clock on three minutes. Yep. Three minutes of stirring. Starting now. Yeah. Okay, so we've done it for three minutes. Let's see if we can make a little bit less mess this time. I don't know if you want to try. Go like this and spoon it in. You could get a ladle. Probably could. Mm, that's delicious. Is this too full? Is that good? Is that good? Maybe a little bit. Well, let's leave it for now. Put some in this one. And then if we need to add a little bit more to this, we can. Okay, so round two, it's all canned up. I'm gonna let it sit for a half an hour, and hopefully this time it sets up. Otherwise, we'll have more wonderful strawberry spread. So this is one that we put in the refrigerator. It's not set up. It's gonna be, you know, like a spread. It's kind of soupy, but it'll taste really good, and it'll be really good, especially on ice cream. That's really good. Yeah, awesome. So the second batch is done. This is the first batch right here with less in it. You see it's pretty um, liquidy. This is the second batch. You can see it's pretty liquidy. I'm um, not an expert, obviously. So I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be, but I'm gonna throw the stuff in the freezer and we're gonna eat it and it's gonna be amazing. Um, I'll let you know in a future video when we pull it out of the freezer how it tastes and how it uses and stuff like that But this is gonna be great either as jam on a sandwich It will just be a little bit runny or uh, as a topping for ice cream or just Don't tell anyone but if I just eat it with a spoon out of there, it'll be really good So this will be my second video for the August Jamboree um I want to thank Prepper Potpourri for including me again. I'm going to put a link in the description to all of the channels, to the playlist, all of that stuff, so you can find all of the awesome stuff. Uh, I'm hoping to start canning more, so I love being a part of this because uh, this is while this isn't a canning specific thing, there's a lot of people who are canning jams. I love making my own stuff. I would much rather make our own jam than go buy it at the store, and I think it tastes so much better anyway. So. If you haven't watched our videos before, please consider clicking on that subscribe button, a thumbs up, give a thumbs up for my daughter here who's been uh, helping me out with both of the jams, both the canned jam and the freezer jam. And uh, it really helps out the channel. Leave a comment, say, hey, go watch a couple other videos, see what you think. And uh, otherwise, we'll, when will we see you? In the, next video. in the very next video. Thanks for watching guys. Talk to you later.